Hi everyone, it's Heather from My Blue Desk. I'm just showing you very quickly a couple of gifts that my husband bought me as post Christmas gifts, and I'm really pleased because he actually listened um, to something I was saying to somebody and thought, oh, that's good, she obviously likes this, and I'll go out and get it for her. The Folk Embroidered Felt Birds book by Corinne Lapierre, and it's absolutely super, so I'm really pleased about that. So I'm going to be doing some of these. Uh, birds and I'll probably do some on camera or at least show you what I make but he also bought me this a blue tit needle felting kit because he knows how much I like birds and also that I do do a little bit of needle felting but not very often I actually got rid of most of my wool because I wasn't using it very much and it felt a bit of a waste really having it sat in the craft room so uh, it was really nice because he's got me a kit and it's literally all ready to use as it is so I'm really pleased I'm in the progress of making a canvas so that I can um, make this up and then use the canvas as a display for my little blue tit. I, obviously I haven't made it yet but I'm going to start making it today so I thought I would show you and then um, when the canvas is done you'll get to see that as well. I'm actually filming the progress of the canvas so you'll see the whole progress. So this is the kit, it's actually made in Scotland, it's the Crafty Kit Co and it should have everything in here that I need to make this gorgeous blue tit so let's get it all out and get started it comes with instructions which is good because I haven't done any needle felting for ages and you can make some little feet presumably that's great so it's got full instructions so it says make two legs in the same way so fold a piece of wire in half that's brilliant so they even cut it for you I don't know what that's for what that's for what does it say oh the pipe clean is actually like uh, to make the body form with so that the, the needle felt in your needle felt around it so that's interesting so uh, it's basically just making an armature, it's number five. So yeah, cover the exposed and twisted wire by loosely wrapping the pipe cleaner around it. And the pipe cleaner will really help the wool to stick when you begin to felt. So that's really good because um, that's not something that I've done before with pipe cleaners. Um, I have used pipe cleaners to sort of stiffen things before, make them movable, but not actually in needle felting. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm by no means an expert in needle felting, in fact I'm a bit rubbish at it, but I do enjoy doing it when I do do it. It's just it's so time consuming that uh, I don't always get a chance to do it. So we also have this lovely little envelope here with the needles in it and also the eyes. Take care, sharp felting needles enclosed, they are sharp aren't they, it's all needle felting needles. And I've got to do it on this lovely... Oh, like a it's not a foam uh what's the name of it it's like plastic foam isn't it yeah so that's gonna be great uh we've got some core wool and then lots of little colored pops of wool as well so i'm going to start making this gorgeous blue tit and uh see how we get along now i'm going to film it but i'm not necessarily going to be chatting while i'm doing it so So I've got my armature and now we're going to add some of this what appears to be core wall. So we're going to take some of this, what does it actually say? Cover the exposed untwist. Blah blah. Wrap a small piece of white wool around the pipe cleaner to form the body of the blue tip. Generally gently felting it in place, taking care to avoid hitting the wire or the pipe cleaner. As the tip of the needle is very fragile. Okay, so, see it already looks like a bird. There you go. Got to get one of the needles out then, haven't we? So I've been doing this for ages. My camera's turned off. 
Right, so we're still on the wing. Okay, so there's the bird and he's pretty much finished. Not too bad, not the best job, but it's all right. So let's have a look. We've got some eyes in here. By miracle, I actually only used one needle. So I have extras. Let's get the eyes out. Then we'll pop the needles back in. And now I've got those to play with another time. I also have some felt left, probably because I didn't make him as chunky as I should have done. Right, and his eyes sort of go about there, quite close to his beak. So I'm going to have to glue those in. <laughs> now he looks a bit boz eyed. There we go, one that side and one. That side his eyes are too big for his head I think because I've made his head little but he's all right he's quite cute isn't he I really should have made him chunkier his head chunkier so there we go we live and learn don't we so that's very amusing so I need to glue his eyes in but then he's he's pretty much done next time I definitely add more to his head because he's a little bit on the small side he looks a bit uh thin malnourished so yeah could probably do with a bit of feeding up in fact that reminds me i need to go and feed the birds now i need to go and put some seed out for them out the front so i shall go and do that but you shall see him again soon because he's going to be uh adorning a canvas makeshift canvas piece so thanks very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed seeing him come together uh, obviously i'm no expert so don't take any of this from me as to how you're supposed to do it but definitely i would recommend the kit by the crafty kit co uh, based in scotland by the look of it and it's a beginner's easy peasy kit so it just goes to show even someone like me can do it uh, sort of maybe not justice that it should be done but you know it's not too bad so thanks for joining me and um, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video take care bye